That was a weird transition. What? We don't do here anything? Hmm. These huge stones have been on Onogoro Island since ancient times. They are relics of the ancient ones. Just like the stone altar at the top of the tower binding. The ancient ones sought to harness the power of the total nexus and made this island their holy ground. Building the Tower of Binding in the center of the island allowed them to draw out every last drop of power. The Ancient Ones. They certainly knew much about the world, far more than we do now. Each of the giant stones here represent one of the countless worlds that exist in parallel to one another. We call these parallel worlds the multiverse. <laughs> uh, that includes your world, my world, and countless others we do not yet know of. The ancient ones refer to all other worlds in the multiverse as unseen worlds. This one represents my world, the visible world. And that one represents your world, an unseen world. From my perspective, the world you came from is an unseen world. But from your perspective, the world I live in is an unseen world. When the sun is out, these stones cast their shadow on the stones on the opposite side. And when the wind blows through those stones, it gets diverted into complex paths before reaching the spaces between these stones. <laughs> the Ancient Ones had a word for this mutual influence from the Unseen Worlds. They called it Fluctuations of Causality. Because of these fluctuations of causality, each and every world is constantly being influenced by the other Unseen Worlds. Fluctuations of causality sometimes take the form of ki, and at other times, manifest as kami. No, they affect more than kami. The flow of wind and water, human thoughts and emotions, everything is influenced. Even my own thoughts and feelings may not be my own simply a result of the fluctuations of causality. Ah, oh, I am sorry. I am rambling. Was I... boring you? I apologize. <laughs> I simply thought that you would understand. We have been taking a rather long break. Have we not? The time of the total nexus is drawing near. We must move on. <laughs> Stop smoking that kush kush. Here it comes. Oh, that's a big target. <laughs> Fire. Uh, that's a lot.
somehow got it. If only we had amplified ground key. Please be gentle with. What? Hmm. <laughs> A chain reaction. But I see. Huh? I mean... Okay. Ow. <laughs> Are we going? Wonderful. Oh. Please do not endanger me like that. I wonder when you start moving by your own. This is a newer model of Divine Boundary. It is an interceptor apparatus that was designed to deflect Kami attacks. These interceptors were a collaborative project between the priests and priestesses of Kai Jingu and the Kamigawa Great Shrine. I heard the previous High Priestess took the lead in trying to mass produce them. These interceptors stop a Kami's attack and reflect it back at the Kami. It is a very nice divine boundary to have indeed. That's cool. This new type of divine boundary can throw large rocks, it seems. Even a Kami would not be safe from a blow from something this size. For sure we'll have this in our next fight with Kami. Here it comes. Careful! You can cancel the Kenzoku's energy orbs with the power of key. Stop right here. <laughs> oh, I hit him. I didn't see that. Oh. Here it comes. No matter how many we defeat, they just keep coming. <laughs> There's other things to do.
Mm-hmm. And the one there. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I can do a double fast. <laughs> okay, well, that changes things. Shikumune. Do you remember what he said? I will obtain the power of the Kami in the Tower of Binding and create a great calamity. I have been thinking about what he meant by that. The summit of the Tower of Binding is a holy ground where the fluctuations of causality and the power of Kami are at their strongest. And today is the day of the total nexus. A day that only comes once every 76 years. It is the one day where our world intersects with the unseen worlds and powerful fluctuations of causality flow in. I think the Mafutsu mirror that Masotake took from Daijingu is a clue to his intentions. The Mafutsu mirror is a divine totem of the highest order. He could use it to call the power of a great kami to the tower. Perhaps Masatake is trying to use fluctuations of causality from the unseen worlds to manifest a most powerful incensed kami. If that is the case, he would be able to reduce the entire country to ash. Could it be? Perhaps... That is the great calamity he was talking about. We must stop Masatake before the total nexus occurs. Or else it might be too late. <sighs> However, our mission at the moment is to quell the remaining two kami, is it not? Can you feel that? The presence of an incense kami is getting stronger. If we go any further, we will probably be faced with a kami. You are prepared, are you not? Well then, let us proceed. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> <laughs> 